Yes, very interesting. This is active. I uh, This is going to be the start of my video. Sorry if I piece, piece some stuff together. I'm just going to cut and paste and piece this together. I found this after watching my video at the end because I noticed that uh, this was not in the article I was showing. I went back. This is another article. Here's the date and the time. I'm going to piece this together. It says, and this and will be active. In other words, this, the Atlantic right here for nuclear weapons, their test will be active until May 21st. Very interesting. So this missile range right here that I show in my video is active until May 21st. In other words, they're telling all the nations to stay out of this area until May 21st. Very interesting. It says right here, or even a hypersonic weapon. The only one that has these hypersonic weapons is Russia. So, right here, this is the zone right here that it shoots. As I showed you right here in IPET GOAT, the shark, the sub, the Russian sub, the, the fleet is called the beast. The sub is called the shark. As you can see there, and there's a D on the hat. As you can see right here, from this post right here, there's artillery zones, which where it's going to be hit. The east and west, they're called as A, B, C, and D. A, A, A B, D, and C, whatever that, whatever. A, B, C, those are the, those are the, it's pretty funny because, uh, this right here is a classroom. I didn't look for any A, B, C, or D on here. The only one I did see is D. Very interesting. So this is going to be the first part of my video. I'm going to splice into this in the beginning because I made my video and didn't realize at the end. I thought I said, I, I, I saw this, and I'm like, when I started to remake my video, I'm like, that wasn't in there in my, my other part of it because... This was a new, an article sooner, and it was deleted. It says, warning to mariners, stay clear of certain area in the Atlantic Ocean, spanning the coast of France to the north of Bermuda, up a couple missile, upcoming missile operation. Right here. So, there you go, warning. So, love you all. I'm going to splice this into the beginning. Yes, how you doing? Um... This video I'm going to put out. I said I was going to put out another video about uh, the healing, but I've had this on my phone for a while, and uh, here's the date. So I don't really put out videos like this in a bunch, but um, I did see this, and I want to get this off my phone, this video, and uh, I think it is important. As you can see right here, there's a shark. He's pointing here. Up here is a something shooting. There's a shark right here shooting right here. Now, if you go to this right here, this is very interesting. Right here. They shot a ballistic missile on April 28th, a test, a test, on April 28th. This is the flight. As you can see right there, very, very interesting, same. This missile... It says France, but it also says Russia in this article. It says right here. It says the Avenger is, is launched atop a Russian intercontinental inter ballistic missile, which existed before the hypersonic weapon was developed. So it is conceivable that the, the new version... Adapted, built by, might be a similar adapted to the VMAX as well. If if it was a hypersonic test, it would likely be the first such weapon de deployed from a 
ballistic missile submarine. This article is from France, but it talks about the Russian missile. France tests new version of the N1 ballistic missile right here, but its trajectory is in question. There's a picture of it. So that's what this, this, this video is about. The Russians have subs there. It's called the Beast, and it's from the north. It's the Beast. And this is what this video is about. And uh, like I said, I wanted to get this out. This is also Jeremiah 50, and I will play this in this video, Jeremiah 50. I will also go over Psalms. Um, I'll go over, I'm going to go over some other stuff. I'm going to splice it in. My beautiful sister wrote this. I put, this is my last video. Tony has given me a lot of stuff, always. She does a beautiful job. She said she was going to start up a YouTube channel. I said, yeah, I'm ready. I'm waiting for your video. So she put this on here. It says uh, she's calculated up on the Torah calendar. Comes to May 18th. You can read her comment in my last video. She does a great job. So that's what this video, this is the beginning of my video. And uh, like I said, here's the date we are watching. Of course, we're wa I'm watching today even. Uh, as Tony had there, the 18th, the 20th. All the way up to the 26th. And uh, that's what this video right here is about. It's about this right here, as you can see. And that is the same trajectory as this right here. Right there. Anyway, I'll splice this together and go from here. Yes, and uh, as you know, this is what my videos have been about. I want to talk about this. Um, it says, Thou shall not be afraid by terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by noonday, by, by, by day. That arrows that Thou shall not be afraid by terror by night, nor by the arrows that flyeth by day. This sounds like two events. The Bible says Babylon is destroyed in one hour. I believe that could be by the arrows that flyeth by day. Um, it says noonday, I think, in Jeremiah, and I will go over that in a minute. But So, in other words, there's two events here. There's something happens at night, and then flyeth at noonday. We know Babylon, the city of Babylon, is destroyed by a stone. Or a rock, that could happen. You know, that could happen, or that could happen later. But there is also the Carrington event. This could be a CME. We've had CMEs hitting the earth. I've had this on my channel before. Now, this could be, it says, it could be terror by night because of darkness. It could be, uh, a Carrington event and cause all the power to go out. This this has happened before. CMEs have been hitting the earth. Now a CME could hit the earth first. And then we are attacked as in Jeremiah. And I'll play it. One hour right here. I believe this says uh, Revelations. Every shipmaster right here says uh so this is one hour but as you can see right here it could be the arrows that day now i'm going to play jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 50. The word
word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations, and publish, and set up a standard. Publish, and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land a desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days, and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion, with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains, they have gone from mountain to hill, they have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon, go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans, and be as the he-goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heiferet grass, and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished. So, it says, shoot the arrows at her. As it says right here in Psalms. The arrows that flyeth right here. So, I know for a fact, China would, if uh, we lost capability, Carrington event or something, we were weakened. As it says right here, terror by night. If something happened, China would, would take us out, no problem. Uh, Russia, I believe, it says from the north, Russia's got all their sub in the north. Uh, and as I showed you in the other part of the, the video... So this has been happening lately, a lot of solar flares. Uh, if we took out power, as it says right here, terror by night, could be all the power some go out, or it could be a meteor. It, or it could be a, the Lord could throw the stone. He could throw the stone, and, and uh, there's been a lot of rocks going by the earth. It could be that we get a meteors or something, terror by night. We could have a bunch of meteors and take out a bunch of stuff. I'm just saying... These are two possibilities. But it does say in Jeremiah right here, it's desolate. There's no way anybody's going to the ATM and getting any money. It's all done. It's desolate. It's uninhabitable, it says. This is all through the Bible. And there's only one thing that could do that, and that's the nuclear subs, as I showed earlier. And they are all ready to go. The next part of this video is going to be about the beast. The beast. Uh from the north and uh that's what they're called the beast subs and i will go over that next so i showed you in the bible where it says that we'll be attacked by the north that's jeremiah 50 and as i showed you in uh psalms 91 uh in uh it shocks about a time frame night and day Babylon's destroyed in one hour when arrows are shooting at them, shooting at Babylon in uh, how uh, um, it's waste. Now, these subs are the only ones that can take out a whole continent. And it's called Meet the Russian Elite Submarine Fleet. It's 
called The Beast. The Beast Decision Division has more than just this sub right here. This is not the one that crashed through the ice. The Beast Division also has this. Um, right here. These are the ones that crashed through the ice that I show in the rest of my video. These got retooled. После проведения сопутствующих работ и ремонта данные лодки, ну как минимум столько же еще смогут. Flat top. These are the ones that crashed through the ice. Submarines were built at the Sevmas shipyard in Severodvinsk, and now they're all going back to the town of their birth to get a facelift. The upgrade we mentioned before, but that's happening in a different plant, the Zvezdochka Ship Repairing Center. They'll get new sonar and communication systems along with a few... This already happened. As I show you in this video that I have, they've already got retooled. The flat top ones that I show you. The flat top ones are the ones that carry all the uh, warheads. Supersonic. They were retooled. This already happened. The Russians also have this right here. So they are... The, this is for incoming missiles. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the first BAL systems are already in place, like on Franz Josef Land in the northern Barents Sea. Shortly, the complexes are going to be dotted alongside the entire northern sea route. The BAL system's increased deployment follows a statement from last December by Defense Ministry, Sergei Shoigu. He claimed that the number of BAL and Bastion systems of the armed forces at the time had only reached 74% of what is needed. He also said infrastructure is developing in the Arctic region. As seen now, Arctic. his two claims foreshadowed the now announced increase of BAL systems in the Arctic, his bestia reported. Entering service in 2008, the BAL is deemed to be multi-purpose as it aims to protect the coast. So they, they've been working on this for a while. What does this do? This will knock down if we shoot a, a nuke at them. This is supposed to knock down. If it works or not, who knows. But the fact of the matter is they've been setting this up for a while. They've had their subs. They re retooled their subs to uh, f for a certain date. Like I said, I believe that, but like I showed you in the Bible, they know that uh, America's, when, when we are weakest, they will attack, I believe. And I believe it will be China too. Jeremiah says they all shoot their arrows at us. So this is in the north. This is the, this is the rest of my video. I'm going to piece all these pieces together. And I had some of this made up from a while ago and put it all together. Like I said, I will have another video out on the uh, jab, but... Uh, I'm not going to put that out until after I put this and get rid of all these videos because, like I said, this is about to happen, I believe, in uh, what, you know, you should be prepared, and that's why I'm making this video. should be a prepare a little bit um, before we leave. If the lights go out, whatever, um, we won't be here long, I believe. I believe it happens in one day, at terror by night, as it says in Psalms 91, and then the arrows by noonday. So, anyway... You know, this is the rest of my video. Love you all.